Kevin Durant's not making a free agency decision between now and June. So th- that's always going to be lingering, isn't it, Chris? No, it is. And, you know, the, the the sad part about the situation, if you are a Golden State Warriors fan or if you're a member of this organization, is that if Kevin Durant does indeed leave, everybody's going to point to that incident. They're going to point to that. That, that will be the narrative of uh, Draymond being the sole reason why Kevin Durant bolted. We're all going to point to that. We, we, we talk about the Bulls. Or, you know, we blame people for uh, – for their role in not keeping that team together and talking about how many championships they could have had. It would be the same situation here in Golden State, if they, even if they do win three titles. They win three titles in a row, KD bolts, they're going to point to this situation and say, is this the cause uh, of why this team broke up? Is this the reason why KD left? And so it, it's, it's, it's a crucial situation. Uh, you know, we, we truly won't know the true reason or why KD left, if, he, if that is the case. But there's no doubt about it, people are going to point to that. Would this have happened if Steph wasn't hurt, Chris? Uh, if he wasn't hurt, I, I, I don't think the game would be that close for it to happen like that. And, and obviously, if it was that close, Steph would be the one dribbling the ball up the court potentially um, as opposed to Draymond. But I guess what I'm bringing up here is that um, it might not have happened on Monday night, but this is something lingering, isn't it? I mean, they, they, the, everyone involved might say that the, goal, the free agency is not an issue. But it, it sure appears to be in the, the fact that Draymond's got only one year left as well. He might be wondering about his future there. Yeah, that, 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 can, that can be the case. And, and I think that's why, you know, Golden State felt like they had to step in and, and you know, implement this, implement this um, decision. And, you know, it, it just – it went outside of basketball. You know, you, you can both, – both, both parties were at fault to some extent. But I think what KD – he went at Draymond. You could say it was wrong or right, but he went at Draymond. It was purely and solely about basketball. Why you didn't pass him the ball? Give me the ball. You know, he might, you know, cuss in there or whatever. Draymond took it outside of basketball, went personal, went business. That, that's never supposed to be integrated uh, into the line of competition. And is uh, that, that, that's completely out of bounds. And is that why it seems that management sided with Durant, or do you think that any of that – uh, has to do with free agency that say, hey, um, we've got your back. Remember that come July 1. No, look, Golden State, they're not going to come out and say this has anything to do with free agency. Uh, their point in, you know, they said that their point in that in implementing this was that he crossed the line. And they wouldn't get into specifics about what he, what he actually did to cross that line. But come on now. I mean, it's it's not easy to – Connect the dots. You know, K- KD is going to be a free agent over the summer. He declines that player option. They want to keep him. And for for something like that to happen, uh, especially with the guy who recruited him in the first place, you know, they, they felt they had to take, take action. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.